for some sushi. I don't even like sushi. Do you like sushi? No. Oh, nice. This is what it looks like to play with raw fish. Virtually. I feel like I'm a few waggles away from a virtual failing grade from a virtual health inspector. This is Derek from Classic Game Room, and this is Sushi Go Round for the real life Nintendo Wii. As most Wii owners are well aware, the wildly popular rolling up raw fish genre has been tragically underrepresented on the Nintendo Wii for several years now. But unfortunately, South Peak Interactive has laid down the proverbial chopsticks and finally delivered the Yuramaki. I'd call this a cooking simulator, but there really isn't any cooking involved. I'd call it a love story, but I don't believe using raw fish to woo a woman qualifies as love. Ill-founded delusional infatuation, maybe, but love's a stretch. Regardless, players assume the role of an ambitious young boy who hopes to win the heart of a beautiful young lady by opening a sushi restaurant. Before you can say a California roll, you're stuck behind the counter at a sushi joint and the orders start rolling in. But the good news is that Sushi Go Round trims the nastiness of serving seaweed and fish eggs to irritable customers and essentially simplifies sushi into a game of memory and management and it's actually kind of fun. So here's how it works. Customers walk in and perch themselves at your sushi bar. You click each customer to offer them a menu and they quickly begin to place orders. Orders you'll fill with the all-purpose Wii Remote. You point at each necessary ingredient and press the A button to place it on the sushi roll and when all the ingredients are added, an upward flick of the remote wraps the order and sends it out to the waiting customers. It's really simple and that's the beauty of it. Like any good restaurant simulator, the simplicity allows the game to gradually build to a frantic pace. And to make things even more hectic, your ingredients are gradually exhausted, so you need to call your suppliers and place your own orders to replenish your stock. That takes time and money, and at the end of each of the game's 40 levels, if you've spent too much on expenses, you won't reach the minimum profit requirement. And that costs you a life. You actually lose lives in Sushi Go Round. You can also serve your customers sake if their mood deteriorates from waiting too long. Death by sushi and getting customers too wasted to be upset about waiting for uncooked fish? This game is graphic. Don't let the E for everyone fool you. I feel like I should have lunch on this music. Alright, that, that, and fish eggs. The multitasking and recipe memorization are a lot of fun in Sushi Go Round, particularly when paired with the Wii Remote. I've always thought the pointer is the most revolutionary aspect of the Wii, and it makes games like this really shine. The act of pointing at ingredients and flicking the remote upward to roll them, it just feels right, and aside from occasionally finicky A button responsiveness, the point and click controls work pretty well in Sushi Go Round. Of course, that might be because Sushi Go Round was originally a free flash game on the popular flash site Mini Clip, and that's the game's dirty little secret. You can play it for free on the web. Now, the Wii version has a few unique gameplay modes and benefits from the Wii Remote, but aside from that, not much has been done to flesh out the experience for Nintendo's system. This dilemma is exacerbated by the game's weak presentation. It doesn't look much better than a free flash game, and it doesn't support widescreen, which is one of my biggest pet peeves. I don't want to get technical, but it really doesn't take much effort to include widescreen support. Every time a developer makes a Wii game without widescreen, I get cranky. And somewhere there's a fairy that falls down dead. So way to go, Sushi Go Round. Nonetheless, this is a fun and addictive game with six gameplay modes and an enjoyable head-to-head -head offline multiplayer mode. But is it worth paying for a marginal improvement of a game that can be played online for free? Well, families looking for a great little game to play together might justly think so. But otherwise, consider your options and your personal preferences. Personally, I prefer my fish fried with a side of chips. I also prefer Wii games in widescreen. Sushi Go Round offers neither widescreen or cooked fish. Or chips, for that matter. My score is 30. He has 560.